Hello, I'm Sunny Williams. I'm up here on the International Space Station. Now, I want to say where we are. So right now, we're in the Japanese laboratory. It's one laboratory out of many here on the International Space Station. It's actually on the left-hand side. If I was International Space Station and I was flying through space like this, my left hand would be where the Japanese laboratory is. So now again, we're on the right-hand side, all the way on the right of the International Space Station. This is Columbus, the European module. It has science experiments all over. You could see it looks a little bit crowded. And here we do a lot of our medical experiments. Here we are in the U.S. laboratory. Again, this is a laboratory with science experience on all of the walls here, all sorts of stuff that we do. Um, and one of the things we also do is we exercise. We have some exercise equipment on board the space station. Um, we need to do that because we lose bone density and muscle mass while we're up here, and that's a result of not having to fight against gravity. So how we keep ourselves in shape are with a bike, a treadmill, and a weightlifting machine. This is the bike. You notice the clip pedals. So all you need to do is actually clip your feet in, and then you can start pedaling. You don't need a seat, because you don't sit down. Actually, I haven't sat down for six months now, so you don't need any, any type of seat. Just make sure you're, you're held in with your pedals. You probably see that the bike bounces around a little bit. As I move it, it's not steady and held to the wall firmly. And the reason for that is the space station is pretty big. You saw that there's also solar rays on the space station. If we start putting any forces into the space station, it's going to make those solar rays bounce around a little bit. So to prevent that, the machines bounce around a little bit, move around a little bit. And that way, we don't put any forces onto the structure of the spacecraft out to the solar rays. All right, a little farther on. Come on. I'm here with my two buddies uh, in the airlock. Actually, these are two spacesuits uh, that are ready, primed up to go outside, as we call it, to go do a spacewalk in case we have to do anything outside. Some of the things we do outside are just like inside repairs. We have a lot of um, electrical boxes and machinery and solar arrays, in fact, that I talked about earlier, that are outside. And sometimes they don't work quite right. Um, remember, space is really cold and really hot, and it's also the vacuum of space with no pressure, and so some of the equipment doesn't work well all the time. So we might have to go out and do a spacewalk. Right behind me is actually the hatch that you go out into space, and right now we have it filled up with a couple other spacesuits because we've got four of them up here uh, and some of our tools. But right behind here is the hatch in which you actually go right outside into the vacuum of space. The spacesuit is pretty big, as you can see. It's like being a football player. Um, part of the reason it's so big and bulky is because of this backside, this backpack. It's like going on a hike with a backpack, but the backpack and the suit weighs about 300 pounds. Luckily, in space, nothing really weighs anything, so you don't feel that it's so heavy. But we need to have such a big suit because that guy back there is essentially um, the, the heart of the spacecraft. This, I call this actually a spacecraft. It has all the oxygen for you. It has all the carbon dioxide removal system for you. It also has a heating and cooling system to make sure to regulate our body temperatures while we're outside. It also has a computer. So it tells you on a display here if there's anything that's going wrong with the suit, if we're running out of oxygen, if we have too much carbon dioxide, um, or any type of electrical problem. So it's a pretty awesome little spacecraft, and uh, actually got to go out, use my spacecraft, little spacecraft, a couple times, and it worked like a charm. Uh, lucky that it works very nice. You might want to see what the helmet looks like. It's pretty cool, too. We don't usually go out like this, so you usually can see when the helmet's open. So you can see what it looks like inside. Somebody's little head would be inside of here. So you can see, you can turn your head all the way around while you're inside of there, but the helmet stays still. So that uh, determines your, your, how far you could see. 
and uh, it's usually pretty sunny out there so we have to wear our sunglasses and this is our sunglasses right here which make you look pretty cool. <laughs>